In the swirling cauldron of Chinese electric vehicle market, there is a tempest threatening to tear its very fabric apart. Despite assurances from officials that all is calm, the realities paint a starkly contrasting tableau of tumult and turbulence. It's like gazing at a Monet from afar, only to approach and find it's a Pollock. With tariffs raining down like furious thunderbolts in both the US and Europe's stormy skies, the grand plans for Chinese expansion in the West appear, for many, to be evaporating faster than summer rain on a Beijing byway. These are no mere showers, but indeed a tempest for Chinese EV makers who've been juggling their own subterfuge narratives of market bliss with a level of dexterity even a seasoned clown would envy. First on our list of lightning rods, the poster child of Chinese EV promise, Lu Eco. Once regarded as a beacon in the mist of uncertainty, Lu Eco finds itself marooned on the rocky shore of deception. The fabricators of a detailed tapestry of pipeline projects and advanced technology, the company had a rather impressive resume that attracted investors from across the globe, particularly the United States, like moths to the neon glow of a promising flame. Their star vehicle, the Lu Megavan, billed as futuristic, was expected to fly off showrooms like a hotcake. Promisingly luxurious, with a robust autonomy of over 700 kilometers, 435 miles, Lu Auto assured investors of a demand that would rival a Black Friday brawl. But when consumers voted with their wallets, favoring crossovers and SUVs instead, demand withered like a desert blossom under the blistering sun. Combining the harsh reality of anemic demand and allegations of inflated order numbers designed to suction more investment capital, the company faces a whopping class action lawsuit from the U.S. investors. Their beef? Overstated demand and a business strategy that hemorrhaged more than it gained. So folks, lesson 101 in EV vanity projects, just because it glistens does not mean it's gold. Tumult in the industry isn't exclusive to Lu Eco. Apparently, even industry bigwigs like BYD find themselves in the crosshairs of controversy. An alleged sales drop and financial difficulties have left the company gasping for a fiscal lifeline, which arrived courtesy of the Chinese government. One moment they're upstaging Tesla on a global scale, and the next they're reporting a drastic tumble in Q1 sales. They must be feeling like an Olympic sprinter that tripped at the starting line. If misfortunes came in threes, Chinese EV market would be considered a lucky dip. Major companies, such as Trailblazer Neo, appear to be buckling under slowed growth and plummeting share values. It's like watching a thoroughbred stallion being outrun by a donkey at the Kentucky Derby. The stages of any potential recovery seem lost in the great smog of Beijing. But troubles aren't only rooted in logistics or finance. Manufacturing quality has also limped into the picture. Reports of quality issues, scratches, mold, paint peeling, material warping have filtered in from as far away as Japan, Europe, and Thailand. Is this a wake-up call or a mere overreaction? It may be too soon to judge, but the ripples are undeniable. To top our expose on the tempest of the Chinese EV industry, we have to confront the deluge, an overcrowded market threatening to crush under its own weight. With a heady mix of tariffs, collapsing business models, and production far outstripping domestic appetite, there's a bloodbath brewing. Ultimately, while the bigger fish will weather the storm, lesser companies may very well sink. We're witnessing something akin to the bloody spectacle of Roman gladiatorial games, a brutal elimination round expected to leave a mere fraction of the original contenders. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world in the Chinese EV industry, and right now, the runts are looking rather scrumptious.